Hi everyone, as many of you will know, uh, one of the lenses which I've got is the Tamron 24-70 VC Vibration Control uh, or VR if you're with Nikon or IS with Canon. Um, uh, well, with this is VC because it's a, the Tamron lens. Um, and there's certain reports where they're saying that if you have the VC on, the Vibration Control or Compensation on, it degrades your image. I was like, uh, mm, really? How how would that happen? Whenever all it is is something floating inside your le inside your lens, stopping you know hand shaped vibrations affecting the image. I'm like, how does that work? Anyway, there's another guy on YouTube, um, like photographers on YouTube. Dot guy. Uh, I'll put his link down below. He tested the same lens, and he found that if on a tripod you have a long exposure and you have the VC on, your images come out, or his images certainly came out blurry. And uh, I was looking at his images going, oh my god, yeah, and they're, they're very, very noticeable. However, I thought I would test it myself to see how, how well it was. So I was just in my room taking a shot of my books here and I've done it at different apertures and thus different kind of lengths of time to see where the kind of vibration co co conversation really kicks in of really starting to degrade the image. Uh, it's just the kind of bookshelves over there and I've got the images here. So let's have a little look at these. If you want to, I'd say everyone watch this at full 1080p so you can see the effects in their most obviousness, if that makes sense. Okay, so what I did with each photo is that I did it with uh, the VR off and then with the VR on. Uh, annoyingly, in uh, Lightroom, it doesn't give you the EXIF data telling you that the VR was on or off, so you have to just remember how you're doing it. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll look at the centre and look at the edges of the image for each one. So this one's at f2.8, 42mm, it was just kind of half, somewhere in between, and this is at a 30th of a second. So if I go into the centre of this one, everything's looking pretty darn good. And f2.8, I'm very happy with the with the result here. Now with the VR on, can't tell the difference. Absolutely looks just as sharp as what it was with it off, on. There's no visible difference. If I go to the edges, let's see if I go over here. Okay, so this bit of the book is a little bit blurry, but this bit back here is more visible. Let's just see. So even at the edge of the image, um, no, no, not seeing, not seeing any difference there whatsoever. Okay, so then I went for a long, so that was a thirtieth of a second, so that's still fairly fast. Here's half the speed, although it's saying it's a thirteenth of a second. Let's see if this has had any difference here. So thirteenth in the centre with VR off, looks good. VR on, can't see any difference. Okay, next one. A third of a second. So this is at f10, and we're getting a third of a second. So VR, and this is on a tripod, remember. So I've got it on my tripod, pointing at my books there, and that's looking, looking really good. And then there with the VR on, no difference again. Okay, so up to a third of a second, it seems to be going okay. Here I'm doing it at 0 0.6 of a second. So not a whole second, not half a second, but 0 0.6 of a second. And VR off, again on a tripod, that is absolutely fine. Because we're at F10, there's a lot more which is in focus. So all the way from the front of that bit is in focus all the way back. Okay, so that's all looking good. Let's see. To VR on. VR off, VR on. VR off. Absolutely no difference at all there. Um, so what? So all I can... My conclusion from this is, although I didn't go any slower, I know it's, it's actually got, it has gone slower, it's gone to 0.8 of a second there. So there's a 0.6 of a second to 0.8 of a second. Maybe there's a different lighting something somewhere. But uh, what my recommendation is, is that if you are doing shots on a tripod, first of all, you're not, get, you're not gaining any benefit from having the VR on, apart from draining your battery a bit faster. So think about that. VR uses battery power, so you want to not use that if you're on a tripod. So that's one good reason. But I see no additional benefit of having the VR on if you're doing it for a longer exposure up to a second, it seems like. 
However, where it goes for longer than a second, I doubt even VR would be able to help you with this at all. Even if it is on a tripod, VR won't help. If you want to get sharper images and all that, have a good sturdy tripod, make sure the base plate is on nice and tight, make sure you do a delayed shutter response so that whenever you press this bit, it doesn't go slap bang, shakes the camera, slap bang as it comes back down. Get one of those little kind of um, clicky things to make it go off if you can get one of those. I don't know what the name is, they're just clicky things that you hold outside and you always click and that sets the shutter off. And say we actually having to touch the button, that would be better. But yeah, otherwise I would say don't worry about it too much, uh, up to up to a second with the VR on, you don't really need to worry about that, even if it's on a tripod. That's my conclusion, it may not be yours, maybe different with other people, maybe different, different examples of the lens have different results. That's why I always say pixel peep like mad when you first get a lens and you're really testing it out, you've got to find out where its limits are in everything. So there you go, that, that was my little tips there, hope that helps, cheers, bye bye.